Namaste, peace, love, and light. What's good? Welcome to Powerhouse to Row. I'm energy. What's good? What's good? What's good? So, this reading is going to be a pick a card, okay? So, in the pick a card, you go ahead and pick you a card. I made them all the same back, I guess the same background or whatever, and the same card. So you kind of don't get stuck trying to pick a different card or whatever. And that way you're able to kind of just pick a message here. Okay, so we got them in the order of one, card one, card two, card three. Okay, card one, two, and card three. Okay, so welcome in beautiful collective. Let's get this message. Go ahead and do whatever it is that you do. Kind of set the mood, set the tone so that you can figure out what card it is that you want for your selection. Okay, card one, two, or three. All right. Let me give you a couple of mindful moments to go ahead and do that. We just gonna get on into it. <coughs> we got card one. <coughs> card one message. Let's see. Voice. Okay. So we got out the card for card one is voice. Okay. Let's read the bottom message. You are here to be known. So speak and be seen. You are here to be known, so speak and be seen, okay? Some of you guys have a problem with that throat chakra. It's the throat chakra. You know what I'm saying? Spirit wants you to, you know, keep an open mind about that because you're here to be known, okay? Your presence is here to be known, okay? Spirit, connect me to the parole messages here for this card, those of us who pick card one, what are the messages here, Divine Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages for card number one? And Holy Spirit. Okay, first card I was in a seven of pentacles. Okay, I love to hear that. You know, this speaks of a lot of work, a lot of achievement, six of... Uh, cup. Some of us could be returning and travel or just having some sort of nostalgic moment. I'm seeing some of you guys. This really speaks to me about some of us needing to kind of connect to that childlike inner child. That thing that you did to express yourself when you were younger made you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to that. That's your voice. You know what I'm saying? Let it be known. Speak it. Be seen. Okay. And I feel like that is another part too of your inner child. Like you could have struggled with that as an inner child, you know, being able to be feel like you were heard or be feeling like you were uh seen okay and kind of acknowledging that in your adulthood um and putting yourself more out there um i'm seeing with the six of cup message as well as the seven of pinnacles some of you guys want to start a channel or some sort of something here there's a possibility of this but you're gonna have to get, you're gonna you're kind of gonna have to get into this energy because i've yeah, you're going to have to get into this energy because it's nine of swords um, message that I'm really getting, you know, in reverse. It's like removing any sort of self-doubt or any self-sabotage, anything that kind of uh, um, holds you back that makes you feel like you're incapable of something. What else is coming out, Divine Holy Spirit? Okay, so we got the magician coming in in reverse. Okay. The magician coming in in reverse. Some of you guys, again, when I was talking about that message about not believing in yourself, you know, you have to trust yourself. You know, God didn't bring you this far for you not to be able to make it to where you was meant to go, your final destination, okay? So you have to continue to believe in yourself. You have to continue to, you know, nourish yourself through this Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles speaks of a lot of work, okay, and a lot of building block. Okay, in order to establish something, okay, something that's not going to be given to you, you know, right readily, but certainly you will earn it. You know, the magician is everybody's divine, you know, it's like something you're already given the ability to choose. When God made us, God gave us choice, right? So that was all the 
our automatic magician power right there. So you being in magician in reverse, those of us who pick card one, it's like basically saying like, you know, you not accepting and receiving the gifts that you've been given. You know, your very first gifts, your very first blessings, which was choice that gives you a wand, able to, you know, will it for yourself as you see fit. So if you're feeling like something that you can't do or something that, you know, is beyond, it feels like a challenge. This is something that you need to go ahead and do because the challenge is there to show yourself that you're capable. Okay, for the most part, I want you guys to remember that with this five of cups as well. Okay, some of you guys just, you know, sometimes you stay stuck in disappointment. And I want you to keep that in mind moving forward, not to stay stuck in disappointment, but to remember that, you know, if it's something that, Maybe it, you didn't get it or do it exactly how it is that you wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? But don't focus on the negative. You know what I'm saying? That's the main message coming out with Five of Cups. Don't focus on the negative. You know, those of us who pick card one, you know, sometimes we have an ability to focus on the negative, right? You're here to be a voice, though. Again, with this magician power, if you change your magician into who is who you truly are, who you're meant to be. Who you meant to show the world? You know you have a voice beneath that, but you have to. You have to. Um, it's like a garden. You have to cultivate that. You have to grow that. That's not something that you just can plant the seed and walk away, and then expect that it's gonna grow. You know you have to go through life experiences and kind of check off the boxes as you go. You know what I'm saying? This is a building process. You know what I'm saying? Taking internal dialogue as to what worked for you, what didn't work for you, right? Moving forward. Okay, that's Seven of Pentacles. This is what it's talking about here. So keep that in mind. We got the hangman. This is definitely us kind of getting still, you know. Um, those of us that pick car one, you got a voice. I'm telling you, you're supposed to be on the platform. We're supposed to be somewhere in the public, like speaking or just doing something to where like you have like a public or some sort of sort of figure you know what i'm saying that's really what you're supposed to be doing and i feel like in getting still that's where you kind of gonna get the messages you know as far as like well, what platform or you know what i'm saying where you want to be at with your message or whatever it is that you're going to be doing you know what i'm saying um because again this message is coming in for somebody really dead ass you are a voice you know what i'm saying you have to Show the world this. You know what I'm saying? Is what I'm getting. For those of us who pick card one. Yeah, some real shit. This the judgment right here. Okay? This is your calling. This is your purpose. This is you being called into purpose. Okay? This is you being called out of that casket where you was dead and you found yourself not having the true fulfillment. You had to get another perspective, get still, and gain another insight. At this time, you know what I'm saying? And for those of us who pick card one, this is big too on us, like learning how to get clarity sometimes in the stillness. And sometimes life going to keep going on, but you're going to have to be able to find that stillness wherever that is within you, right? In order to get the message sometimes, because life, like I said, it ain't going to stop for none of us, right? But this is us being called into judgment, into purpose, okay, into focus. So once you get still, that mess is going to be so much more clearer to you. What else is coming out? Holy Spirit. Okay, Two of Pentacles. For some of us, this is in choice. Some of us um, learning how to juggle and balance, you know, our lives and our expectations expectations and things of that nature but there needs to be some sort of balance with this voice because I feel like a lot of times we'll think that we have to be a certain type of way to come out or to be seen or to have our voice heard but it's like spirits telling me like take the high road take the the road let's travel you know what I'm saying like that's really a purpose on some real shit like don't try to do what everybody else do. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, make your own way, you know? And you were given this choice to be able to find your own path, your own way, you know, here. For us who pick hard one, you know, also. Um, some of us could feel, like, weighed down about a lot of the everyday mundane tasks that you have to carry out. And then it's like, you know you're so great. And it's like, yo, you know that you got so many things that just you feel like you should be doing, right? 
And so you have to balance that with patience, you know what I'm saying? And give yourself the time that's needed. And sometimes when you're just sitting up to yourself, like journal and write things out so that you can have a much more clearer perspective as to how you move it. You know, for those of you who have a really busy life, right? It, you're never too busy to take around a little journal or notebook and kind of journal things, whatever, how you fill in business plans, all kinds of things, right? This is what um, wealthy people do, actually, this um, exercise. So this is something that we all kind of want to get this message. Um, now connected to Moto G Play 2021. <clears throat> whether we pick car one or not. I mean, that part. But, you know, so what else is coming out for car one, Spirit? Thank you. Because that was good. Okay, some of us who pick car one, there's going to be a huge change. I feel like those of us who pick car one, it's like, you're going to clarify in the tower. Oh, wow. 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 With the freaking Knight of Cups. That's creative expression. Didn't I tell you? Listen, I didn't tell you. I'm talking to myself. Now connected to Moto G Play. Ah, ah, 2021. Ah. Girl, shut up. Let me turn on something. Hold on. Because y'all are going to keep saying that, ain't you? But the Knight of uh, Hearts. <laughs> of cups it talks about being able to express yourself creatively it talks about being able to um you know just have that inner creative spirit about you and i feel like another thing too um with being called into your purpose and what it is that you were sent here to do um you can you have such a huge lane and so much options you know, don't get stuck just doing one thing or what it looked like everybody else was doing. Make your own way. Set your own precedence. You know what I'm saying? Like us some real shit. Like that's what type of mover and shaker that you are. And I feel like a lot of it too is because you know that it's kind of going to bring a huge change to who you are, Be you know, destined to be. Just period. Right? Um, that you know, sometimes you could get stifled in your creative nature. You could feel like sometimes you go being unrealistic or something like that. I feel like, you know, those of us who pick car one, you know, you have to be able to trust yourself more, you know, with this uh, Knight of Cups message, you know, that you do have it within you to, to express yourself creatively. Um, just give yourself structure. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what it's that you need. You know, structure doesn't mean give yourself rules or give yourself things you can't and cannot do. We'll do that. Yeah. But, you know, structure simply means for the most part, giving yourself kind of like an overall sense of where I'm going with something. Right. Um, and, and so in doing that, you know, you have all the range to be as creative in your expression whether you feel like that's in and speaking your mind to people or or something uh artistic in 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 variety whatever it is you know because it, even speaking your mind is is an artistic form right um because there's so many ways in which a person could do that right um but there's something about that that brings a huge change and i feel like for those of us that pick card one this is really pivotal because when the change comes in for us who pick card one um this kind of tower moment um it feels like uh, this this happens because you made a conscious decision you know to give something your your full focus i feel like for some of you guys this could take like a, a, a period of time over a period of time you'll be able to accomplish something or something is what i'm hearing with this four pinnacles message you know because four pinnacles speaks of like long-term security and and and, and that could sort of that long-term right thing of it right and and for that i'm, I'm just hearing some of you guys just sitting here nurturing a gift or something that it is that you know how to do automatically and, and it brings you a lot of um abundance, you know. But some of you guys too, I want you to focus on um 
not holding on to people or hoarding and being stingy as well, you know, because that could be a part of, you know, a part of your creative expression that you're learning how to do and how to be less selfish and more giving, you know, in nature. And I feel like this brings in a lot more abundance than you being able to creatively express yourself because it's like you give into yourself. It's like other people will see that you know, maybe I can give more to myself too, you know? So it's like, it creates like this long-term uh, effect for us all in the universe. You know what I'm saying? With this Four of Pentacles message is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> also, I'm getting like, some of us just need to budget. Some of us who pay card one, um, we struggle with budgeting and kind of keeping the finances in order. So if this is like something that you see that, um you know, has, it's never worked out for you in the past when it comes to how you budget your finances. I see some sort of change coming into how you do that, how you execute on your finances and kind of getting that shit together too. For those of us who pay car one, uh, messages, clarifying the magician in reverse <laughs> with the four of cups. Okay. With the four of cups. Okay, big Pluto energy. Scorpiana. Scorpiana. Okay, but, you know, for the most part, this four of cups is just letting me know that, you know, it's just time. You know what I'm saying? It's just time for certain things to take place in our lives for those of us that picked um, card four here. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like... For some of us, you know, we feel like we kind of missed out on opportunities, but spirit is here to tell you that, you know, you have a voice and so you have to speak and be seen and know it's not, you know, over. You haven't finished doing what it is that you need to do. And so sometimes you think that because I didn't do it in a certain specific amount of time, then I don't have time no more because I'm this age and that's not true. That's just not true. Time is an illusion. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like spirit wants me to also tell you, you know, that you're here to be known. So speak and be seen. Again, the card is voice. Literally, for those of us who picked the card one. Okay. Keep that in mind. All right. For real, for real. Clarifying the five of cups. Why is you here uh, with the seven of cups? Dang, and the Four of Cups. When karma happens, when things, you know, it's faded. It's just happening. Life is happening. Kind of get into the flow of change. Those of us who picked card one, you know, see what I'm saying? You're an earth angel. Understand that it's going to be that up and down. It needs to be that roller coaster effect. How would you know you're alive if you weren't feeling and experiencing anything? right so it's like live and let live like and just be sometimes just know how to just let shit be you know what i'm saying and you don't have to try so hard and sometimes when it's just faded we have to just go with the storm you know what i'm saying and kind of let the will turn how it's gonna turn you know what i'm saying <clears throat> otherwise we could hurt ourselves trying to get in the way of the flow of of that that uh circle right you ever thought about right think about that trying to stick your hand in, inside of a wheel right think of it right how dangerous could that be right so keep that in mind is what they saying like let things flow when you see the uh the uh will of fortune right coming in in reverse right some of us just need a little bit of rest in order to kind of um see the blessings that are coming in and remember i said too with this uh hangman it's like get still get yeah you need some rest sometimes you overworked and sometimes you can't see clear because you too busy moving and get making everything happen and keeping everything together for the most part okay just keeping shit together and i feel like a lot of times you miss out on the proper rest and the proper nourishment that that brings Okay, with the seven of cups, you know, because it's like seven of cups, it's like you you can see it. You have the keen insight that you can see this. 
and your reality and why you feel in disappointment is really not a disappointment. It's, it's like you still have time. You feel disappointment because you feel like you didn't have enough time. Those of us who pick our one and you have plenty of time and it's, you just need to know that. And the more that you sit still and kind of sit with yourself, your soul, your spirit, the more it becomes clear, okay, where I, this is what I got to do. Okay, that's what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? And you start to cultivate the relationship and strengthen that relationship with spirit. And and it, and it just, and it flies off, off like the hinges. It just is is unimaginable. It's limitless. You know, the possibilities once we tap in the spirit into the soul, y'all. And the potential that it can bring. Okay. Clarifying the uh, two of. Clarifying the two of pinnacles here. Mm, with the six of wands, I'm telling you, somebody, this is the success and victory and recognition card. Somebody, you're holding yourself back from success. I think you've learned the lesson, though. I got 10 over here. I got 10 right here. I think we've learned the lesson, those of us who pick our one. You know, I think I've I've said enough that we, we got this message, those of us who pick our one, because your success is lying right here, running with the six of wands, is what it talks about, okay? Leo energy here, Aries, okay? But this is just about victory and recognition and somebody having that, you know, potential out there and to think that you didn't have it child please okay you like you can't help it you're seen without wanting to be seen like literally those of us who pick uh car one you you have an undeniable social presence or just an ability for people to take to you what do they call that shit charismatic you have a natural charismatic uh nature about you just on some real shit and because that's always been your natural thing, that could be another part of why you like, people always take to me because that's just my personality. No, people take to you because you're just charismatic. That's just part of your chart. That's just part of who you are. I didn't mention many signs tonight except for um, Leo and Aries, but listen, that that's a, irrelevant so much as the message that's here, okay? That's just a part of your sign, though, you know? You being charismatic, you know? different aspects of us right so keep that in mind okay those of us who picked card one let's see we could clarify um the six of cups clarifying the six of cups i take this and this is the queen of cups okay so just so that we're sure we're clear you being in your childlike nature it actually helps you to feel good. It actually helps you to heal certain parts of you that may, when you were younger, maybe like it was misunderstood or you, did, you didn't feel like people heard you or understood you. And you're healing that through through coming out of your shell that you were in when you were a child. Like It's like you could have like, the energies here that pick card one, it could have been like you strive for attention, but maybe you made it in a negative way in the past. And now you're going to a, a place where now you're turning that into a positive. And that shit is healing because it's like you're healing yourself. And it's like you're healing other people around you. That frequency is like off the hooks. Go with that. Okay, whatever that that childlike nostalgic, you know, that thing that made you like, oh, okay, now I get it, you know, and connecting back to that inner child and what was they telling me, you know, and why were they in so much pain and why didn't they feel like they were being heard and you know what I'm saying? And how could I change that to now that I have this type of 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 you know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't even have to have a platform, you could just have now where people are listening to you. On some real shit. Where in the past they was people didn't give a fuck what you had to say. 
And now, you see what I'm saying? So you, it could be that energy too. You know what I'm saying? So you don't necessarily have to be somewhere on some social platform either for this message either is what I'm hearing too. You know what I'm saying? And you're taking, and it's because you've lived and you've learned to nurture that childlike spirit within you and nurture that and truly be in tune with that. You know what I'm saying? You don't turn that off because somebody's watching and that's your true voice. That's what heals you within. And I feel like that frequency is what resonates to others. You know what I'm saying? It helps to heal all vibrations that come in contact with you, you know, just period. Uh, you know, those of us who pick card one, you, you're healers, you know, and you heal. The way you heal is through your voice. It's through what you got to say and how you say it. So you need to know how important your voice, your thoughts, your idea forms, your brain, your crown, your third eye, your thoughts. You are to the collective. Okay, those of us who pick card one, all right? I just need you to know that, all right? Bottom of the deck is in a justice. Stop playing with me right now, okay? Those of us who pick car one, let me tell you something, okay? This can only get greater. You're in the right spot. There's nothing you could do that would be because you're in the right spot and you're learning how to nurture who the fuck you are within, you know? And it just hit different, you know, when you have that voice. So keep going. You know, those of us that pick our one, keep showing the world your voice. You are here to be known. So speak and be seen. Okay. This for car one. That car is so pretty. Okay. Without any further ado, let's get into car two. Enough. You were born enough. Those of us who pick card two, there is a huge message in this tonight about you recognizing that you are enough and that you were born enough. Okay? So let's connect here to card two spirit. Here the messages and what we need to hear, what needs to be honored here. For those of us that pick card two, let's collect this here as a whole. For the greater good. Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit. All right. Card two messages. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Card two, I need y'all to know. You are enough. You was born enough. Okay? And some of y'all might really struggle with that message. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. Because you constantly facing all of these motherfucking criticisms. Or all of these um, images or things that you feel like you need to compare yourself to. Or that if you don't fit that image of what that looks like. You know? They give us these cookie cutter, you know, and we don't fit inside these cookie cutter, you know, experiences or or or, or shapes, right? And then we feel we start imposing bullshit on ourselves, false narratives, telling us that we're not enough. When you born enough. So card two, I need y'all to really like catch that shit. I like, read that shit again. Enough. You was born enough. So simple. You was born that way. Whoever you think created you, whatever. God created you that way. Enough. You heard me? Just like that. Straight like that. What 
the messages here. Card two. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Card two, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, bam. Justice. Come on. <coughs> oh my God. You was born like that. Some of y'all don't even know. You could be Libras getting this message. You don't have to be. But some of y'all don't even know you was born like a fucking angel. And you was sent here. Like to be like a fallen angel so you could know and remember what it felt like to rise again on some real shit. And this is what I'm hearing. This is just what I'm channeling. With the justice card, the message for the justice card, it basically means like being balanced. Having a win-win situation in front of you on your life. And recognizing that you are enough. That's your win-win. Nothing fucking compares to that. Because when we're constantly being berated or made to feel like we're not, there's some sort of inadequacy or there's some, something we need to be striving for, right? Outside of ourselves, right? Then you can really start to feel you know, down on yourself or really low on yourself, right? It has a way of really lowering the vibrations of people. So you have to be aware of that, you know, that narrative of, of changing everything about you and not recognizing that you are just perfect the way that you are and God created you just that way. You know what I'm saying? And all you got to do is strengthen who you are. You know what I'm saying? To become who you truly want to be. But everything you always going to need is already within you. Because you was born that way. Enough. Okay. Some of you guys. This is a balance. This is a justice that you're creating. Because of the fact that you've been so trustworthy with the emperor. You know. The emperor. <coughs> not only does it, the emperor give me power. You know. But. It's like. The emperor upright is trustworthy. You're trustworthy. You got a big heart. You understand mankind. You understand the vibrations of people around you, not just yourself. You're compassionate. You're people that give a fuck about the rest of the world. You, you're impactful. You do things in an impactful way. And so sometimes it's very hard to not judge yourself. When you walk in that such of a straight path. And you have to remember too that you were sent here to be a human and to make certain mistakes and to make certain misalignments, I'm going to call them better yet, okay? So that you can know what the alignment was all about. So that you can know what the light was all about, right? And getting right was all about, right? Right? We get so down on the on the on the we sometimes we we stay stuck in the in the in the in the look what I was I saying earlier we stay stuck sometimes in the in the low in the plateau or in the valley whatever you want to call it we forget that we damn near on I'm on the mountain I'm on the peak like hold on wait a minute I'm enough I'm good enough the hell was I what was I thinking right. King of Swords, okay? That's coming in because you're establishing the kingdom within you, the queendom within you. Having the knowledge to lead with divine discernment. Some of us are tapping into our true power, you know, with that King of um, Swords message, you know, really recognizing who we are, you know, and, and how divine we are. A lot of times in life, it showed us, you know, the truth. And through that, it taught us to be unemotional. 
have balanced judgment and stuff like that. Like people could come to us for advice. A lot of times, those of us who pick this card, because it's a uh, card too, because it's like, we're so trustworthy, you know what I'm saying, type of people here. You know what I'm saying? That's what's just what energy you're just giving. You know what I'm saying? Very trustworthy type of person. Very discerning. Logical. Powerful. And you're enough. And sometimes you get down on yourself because you think, because you're not in your face with it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be. That was never your thing. That was never your thing. Those of y'all that pick card too, like, that's just not true. Like, sometimes if you have to be, but that's not your thing. Like, and again, and you don't have to be like, out of, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Like, you, that's not true. You know what I'm saying? You just know, only know how to be you and that's good enough. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to over nothing because you, you everything right where you at. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to spice it up. You spicy enough. Like, I don't know how to explain it because some people just are who they are. And some people just don't really need or even have it in a personality, maybe more so to just be one way. You know what I'm saying? Certain people just, you know, and that's just really who we are that pick our too. You know what I'm saying? And because we just, and we command that power through what others i feel like too this is like others perception of us and sometimes we take that shit too personal like those of us that pick card too you take too personal the opinions and the perceptions of other people and how they see you like fuck them them motherfuckers was um belittling berating you because they knew how dope and the fuck and they knew if they put even a, a, a mustard seed of, of battery in your battery pack, you was going motherfucking charge up over their ass because you already been towering above them. And then you feel me? Like you already been doing that. So it's like, don't be Something about the transits here. Don't be deceived sometimes. Because, like, I feel like the transits are going to help you fit, see, you know what I'm saying, your true worth at this time and that you are enough. You know what I'm saying? You was born that way. And that's why a lot of times, too, people have come and tried to dim your light or make you seem like you aren't as dope as you are. You feel me? Like, feel me? That's just Period. Ace, I can't make it up. Ace of Swords. This is the truth. King of King of Swords. Truth. Ace of Swords. Truth. Clarity. This is the clarity. So those of us that's get, picking this message for card two, is this is your clarity message for card two? You are enough, and you was born that fucking way. Just period. And you're recognizing that about yourself. Further messages here for those of us that picked card two. Okay. Oh, look at that. Walking away from victimhood, victim mentality. Okay, beautiful transformation coming in. I see some of us really like getting into our self-esteem bag, like really like making ourselves. It's not that you making yourself up, but it's like you putting more into yourself. You recognizing that. You put so much into other people. You nurture so many other... You you help raise this kid. You help raise your kid, right? You help do all of these things for all of the world, right? And so now the transformation is for you to get finally you right. And you going in like on yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is like a lot of self-care for us. This is like really getting back to the self and... You know, sometimes it look to the outside world because they don't know what the fuck we've been through on the inside, damn it. It might look like, oh, she just went and got her nails done and she be wearing her little, you know, stuff that make her look cute and would have us and, you know, and or a guy might get his hair cut or, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, be a little shiny around the lips, a little big, you know, a little, little trimmed and looking, you know. We might get start getting that on because that's what I'm feeling like. You know, this transformation is like a physical transformation for some of us that have been um, experiencing, you know, this sort of low 
you know, where you didn't, you, it wasn't that you wasn't caring for yourself. It's just that you was caring for everybody else and you didn't really see why you needed to do it for yourself. And so now it's like going into this transformation energy of now, I need, now I see why I need to do it for myself. Cause you always knew why you did it for everybody else. Now you, you putting that, you just putting that back into you because you know that you, 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 you can't fucking keep continue pouring out to everybody else and not pour into your own cup, which is, I mean, that's smart. <laughs> it's logical. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So this is where we needed to be. Those of us who picked our two, you know, in that place of removing victimhood and saying, okay, I've done everything that I need to do now. I'm releasing any fear that held me back. Okay. Because really for the most part too, it was like a lot of fear that made us see that way we couldn't be at peace with that. We couldn't find peace because we were too busy trying to be a victimhood and so walking away from that you know what i'm saying it releases the blocks that we had and, and discovering inner peace you know because the, the peace we were looking for was never external right it was always within us and recognizing what for those of us that pick our tool enough we are enough we was born enough okay we was born that way enough we didn't have to wait no time or you know that we was born that way, right? And I and I feel like overall that's that's where we at with it. Okay, some of us I feel like with this five of pentacles message, um, I feel like you could have missed out or felt like you missed out on things in the past, um, opportunities or that you didn't have something, and I feel like. It was a mindset as well, and that was placed on you when you was younger, like maybe like people told you like you bore or you don't have, and so you kind of grew up into this i'm I'm gonna make money and a, but it was still like as you was accumulating earthly abundance, it was like still in a poverty mindset still still in a making riches to be in poverty like you feel me like so you had to sh uh change out and transform this poverty mindset that you had over money as well i think that you had to, those of us who pick car one day and that's what it is you had to realize that you had it all within you and that money can't make you be in the top of the world it has to be my character it has to be what's within me and so you're realizing I was born enough, not no no matter how much I can accumulate here on this earth and in abundance and wealth and earthly sustenance, it'll never be enough until I can recognize my, my true worth. It lies within me and I was born enough, right? And so this is a deep ass fucking message, you know what I'm saying? Those of y'all that pick card too, you know, part of that too had to do with the poverty, that was a part of it because, like, you know, and it ain't even that maybe somebody didn't ever tell you that maybe they did or maybe they did. You know what I'm saying? But for some of y'all, you know, that's what I heard. You know, people when he was younger, they, they made it like money was the thing. And so you grew up understanding that that was everything. And then when you got older, you started making it on your own. You was like, man, that shit is not, man, happiness, peace motherfucking you know you started it, it the 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 true uh uh riches the true wealth had changed the true value in it had changed for those of us who picked our two and I'm, i feel like it's, it was you know the self it was the awareness in the self right that <clears throat> you know you know where we really get an opportunity to grow here as a collective, let's clarify um, the nah, let's clarify the uh, death. Okay, with the page of swords, some of us I feel like it's like too. You have a lot of people that like could be like malicious or like spying energies or like watch you very closely or like things like that nature. And so that's another reason too that you've held these poverty views because everybody in the crew is like, everybody got to have this. If you don't got this, you ain't nothing. 
You feel me? Like, in the crew. And so it's like a lot of fucking introspection. So it's the same way, like, how you get in your awakening on this poverty mindset. So is the people around you and in the circles around you. And so on, so on, this triple effects, ripple effect all the way around, right? So everybody getting this message, whether they pick the card or not, you feel me? But you heard me? This is like us that pick card too. We're getting that message. It's like the people around us, right, are being affected too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like sometimes, you know, it could be like a lot of people that watch after you or like, you know, um, you could be very influential without even knowing, you know, how influential you are to other people and that they watch you. And, and this is giving me the energy of like, you know, maybe sometimes people, they just doubt you because it's like, sh well, shit, if I can't do it, neither the fuck can they. You know what I'm saying? That's why they doubt you. It ain't nothing other than that. You know what I'm saying? It's because they can't do it. You feel me? So if they can't do it, then they don't think the fuck nobody else can. You hear me? So it don't got nothing to do with you. And I feel like you need to keep that in mind, you know, moving forward, that you are enough because you was born enough. And because you recognize that don't mean that these people got nothing to do with that and the development of that. You know what I'm saying? You don't owe them fucking people nothing either when it come down to you. You know, they got to they gotta go through their shit too to reach where they got to go to. Okay. What is this? Hold on. Drop the card. Okay. Let's clarify here. I want to clarify that it is stores in reverse, so I did. And I'm going to clarify this five of pentacles. Okay. With the hermit. Okay. That eight of swords is clarified by the hermit. We had to go within ourselves. We had to have that moment. You know, the hermit talks about going within for clarity. We had to go within ourselves like, yo, I figured it out. I was self-sabotaging myself. I was sitting here comparing myself or I was thinking that I wasn't enough for something when I've always been enough. And then coming into that understanding is over. Clarifying the eight of swords. Clarifying the eight of swords. Okay, with the hierophant, okay, upside down. Why? Because you're changing traditions. You're changing the way that things are done now. You're changing this. This is what the transformation is. The hierophant in reverse, changing traditions. Of course, it's a transformation. Recognizing that you're enough. And just because they don't see my value doesn't mean that I don't see my value. I see my value. I know who the fuck I am and I'm going to perform as such. You know what I'm saying? Y'all a dope ass bunch, man. That pit card too. I just need y'all to know it. Sometimes, hey, we are struggling with something. Sometimes, hey, soul want to tell us all something, right? It is what the fuck it is. That's why tarot is so dope. You know, I love it. The art of it. Because it's like you can convey the messages through it. The stuff that the soul want to tell you that you, you know, you need to hear. Clarify this in the And yeah, reverse that back. <laughs> Clarify the cups. There we go. To the swords, okay? Releasing uh, burdens in, in that you had in your mind, thinking that you, you didn't have it. This was a, a fucking mental perspective. Now you know that. You know it was a mental perspective. You had to get your shit right. But you had to go within. You recognize that, that you are fucking enough and you got everything. All your tools you ever fucking needed. Tens, tens, tens all across the board. You heard me? Yeah. Transformation looking really good for those of us that pick cards. So clarifying here. The Will of Fortune. Clarifying the Will of Fortune. With the Seven of Swords and the Devil in reverse. See? Devil in reverse means, devil in reverse means 
breaking the fucking negative fucking cycles, the negative patterns. Finally, you realize that shit. I swear to God, I can't make this shit up to y'all. This is us breaking the fucking cycles, breaking the fucking, you know, breaking that shit. I'm, I'm going to stop doing this shit to myself. This is I'm done doing this shit to myself. And I love it for us, okay? Seven of Swords. All right? Go ahead and make a break for it. Go ahead and make a break for it. This is the, the point in which you're ready to make a change and make action. Seven of Swords. It's action. Go for it. Walk away from doubt. Walk away from fear. Walk away from anything that held you back. Those of us who pick hard too, that's exactly what the fuck you're doing. Walking away from that shit. Y'all looking real good, card two. Clarifying uh, the Ace of Swords. With the Six of Pentacles, okay? It's in balance. It's in moderation. Some of us, like I said, you're learning how to be more generous these days. And I feel like that's a big part of two, of giving back. Because it's like, it's like giving to other people or some shit like that. It's like you're understanding the value in it. It creates more abundance for you. So, like, you've been more generous these days. And generous doesn't always mean giving to somebody else. It can also mean giving to the self, okay? And, and doing things more so for yourself as well. Like what I was saying with self-care messages and things of that nature. So, it's and learn, learn how to love on the self, right? Big Libra messages here, Aquarius. Yeah. Learning how to give back to self. So that's what I'm getting for those of us who pick card two. Let me know how these messages resonated with us. Okay. And we're going to go right into card three. Card three. The unknown. Knowing the unknown. Okay. This for card three. The unknown. Knowing the unknown. Thanks for the hearts, y'all. Okay. So, those of us who pick card three. We're in the unknown. The number is five. Knowing the unknown. It sounds like us tapping into our divine intuition, you know, tapping into divine um, discernment and things like that. Even entities and beings that support us like our guardians or our angels and stuff like that. Because it's like you can't see them, but you you can feel them. You see what I'm saying? And so it's tapping into this infinite energy, right? Um, and it gives you so much knowledge. It gives you so much insight, you know? Where people think like, like, how the fuck do they know this shit? Right? You know? It's like you tapping into the unknown because you tapping into the infinite energy source and knowledge source. You know, you tapping right in the source. For real. Okay. So let's get the messages for this one. Spirit could I be the card three? What are the messages for card three that everyone that will be picking card kind of three? What are the collective messages, the overall messages uh, for the greater good of all? Thank you. Card three messages for card three spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Card 
card three messages for card three, please. Spirit, thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Oh, transformation right off the top. So some things about us are dying. It's like on some real shit. I feel like this transformation is talking about us spiritually. Those of us who pick our three, this is like a spiritual transformation, a spiritual, not necessarily dying. Oh, semantics. Transformation, right? Um, the beautiful death, right? That brings life, right? Was that a right away or something? <laughs> I don't know. Is this something about the soul? This is happening in the soul area, you know, the spirit area um, of where, you know, you're shedding that old information. You're shedding that or maybe keeping some of that, um, but transforming that through this connection with the soul, the spirit, you know, because I feel like I'm always upgraded. I'm always in transformation. You know, because I'm always connected to the most high, right? You know, so I feel like this is a spiritual transformation. Something needs to, you know, uh, end so that a new, something new can begin. Here's what I'm hearing. For those of us who pick card three. Okay, then we got the queen of wands. I feel like somebody could be wanting to work on their home. You know, this is us working on the home. Those of us who pick card three. Um, it, it could be like you working on a home for the most part. I'm just seeing like, you know, um, more trusted figures like energies and things like that. Like if you got a business and stuff like that, maybe giving it more attention. Um but being very generous, those of us who pick pile three, somebody who just really values your home and, and you could be in a limelight or in the spotlight or something like that too. I'm seeing with this Queen of Wands energy into the unknown. You could be like a reader or something like that with like a platform. Uh, those of us who pick card three. What else? Spirit. Connected to the messages for card three. Then we got the page of wands. So, I, okay. So he's in reverse. I feel like some of us could be like lacking enthusiasm because it's like, okay, you can't know. Okay. Let me tell you something. You can't know everything. As smart as you are, as intelligent, as enlightened, as receptive, as all these beautiful things. You can't possibly know the know the all of the all, right? Because you're not the all. You are a part of that. You're an aspect of that. But I feel like you lack enthusiasm sometimes when you're in transformation. Those of us who pick our three, it's like because it's such of a constant thing, you know? So I feel like um, keep in mind to just remain enthusiastic because there's so many people in this world that are suffering and you know and they don't know what to do whether they they're in the knowing or in the unknown you know they they're just completely lost right oblivious right so there's this need of you know to always remain positive you know is what i keep hearing just stay positive you know what i'm saying Stay positive, those of us who picked uh, card three, you know, four of wands, okay? Always building that home within you, that temple. I feel like it's always in transformation. You always feel like your home is always getting, you're always working at your home. So you're always trying to build that up. And maybe like you are like somebody in the community that a lot of people come to your home or come to you as a vessel, and really depend on you a lot, you know, and you always feeling like you're always building or repairing or working at the home and doing something for, for, for the home or for something like that. And you always feel like you, you're never done. You're never complete. You know how you, you get done cleaning the house and you're like, okay, boom, sit down, I'm done. You, you know, you, you, you do some type of job or something where you, you never feel like you're complete. Mm. And you're always working on the home or like you're always working on the self, constantly improving within the self. Those of us who pick card three, what else is coming out? Four of Wands. Some of you guys could be returning in travel or 
uh, something to that effect with this four of wands. But I just really see community, you know, um, team working a lot of success, prosperity here for those of us that pick card three. A lot of prosperity in the future, possible collaborations, celebrations. Okay. Oh, why did everybody get out? Did everybody get out the Wheel of Fortune tonight? I think everybody got out the Wheel of Fortune tonight. <laughs> okay, so it came in in reverse. So it's like, don't hold on to anything. You know what I'm saying? Just allow the will to kind of go as it's supposed to go. You know, karma will get placed where it got to be placed. You know, I feel like so many times we try to stand in the way of karma. Or we try to stand in the way of where it's going. You know what I'm saying? But this is about destiny. You know? And you having a lot of, um, it's, it's like some of us, I feel like your lack of perspective, it, it kind of gives you like a bad, bad luck or like a bad taste or a bad stench or something. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, sometimes like you can have the ability to like, you don't even know. Let me tell you something about y'all that pick R3. Even if y'all don't got no spiritual business or something like that, maybe you should get into one. That's the first message. The second message is you don't know how powerful you are and that your mind literally creates realities that you said, I don't want this reality. Thought about it and then boom. The same thing you said you don't want to happen is what's happening. So you have to be aware of how powerful your mind is. Those of us that pick R3. You're walking in an unknown place. You know what I'm saying? You are the unknown. Those of us who pick our three could very much resonate too with calling ourselves like gods, goddesses. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Um, Very much so just see your divinity within you. You know what I'm saying? And, and just the fact that you're a child of God. You know, on some real shit. That's why I feel like you be trying to defy destiny. Look at this shit. The fucking, look. <laughs> fucking Will of Fortune coming in in reverse. Who the fuck is you? Only a god would do some shit like that. Like, who the fuck is you? <laughs> <laughs> what is you doing? This is destiny, okay? The most high got this shit. Like, oh, man. <laughs> what else is coming out for those ones that pick card three? Uh, six of cups, Okay. Dang. See the cups. I mean, <coughs> well, this is the cups. I feel like this is us like letting go of the past. Some of us used to really hold on to the past a lot. So this is a really good message that we're letting go of the past, you know, and things that really just held us back that we can no longer use at this time. You know what I'm saying? And that's really working for us. You know, so that's a really good thing. I feel like focus on the future. Um, focusing on the future. Some of us could be leaving home, you know, stuff like that. Messages I'm getting for those of us that pick card three. Oh my God, I just got a message. Somebody's moving away from home and you wondering how is this shit going to turn out? How is this shit going to work out? It's going to be great. It's going to be a positive, beautiful start. You know what I'm saying? You just got to believe in yourself and, and you working on the home and it's going to be very successful. I feel like it might not look like how you want it to look physically, but it's going to be yours. And you can always buy things and pieces and get it together and make it look like how you want to see it. Oh, but yeah. What else is coming out for card three? Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, what else is coming out for... Oh, ace. Oh, shit. So somebody, I feel like you can't see clearly because this is the unknown. I feel like if you just trust at this time, for those of us that pick card three, you have to really use, rely on your faith as your vision right now. Your faith is going to be your vision. It's going to be your eyeballs because it's like with this ace of swords in reverse, it's like you not seeing shit for how it truly is. Okay, so in order to see clearly, you're going to have to let your faith do the seeing. 
And that's what I feel like is a lot of times, too, we struggle, those of us that pick our three, because it's like we're always in transformation. So it's always like, damn, well, damn, I can't even see straight because I'm, I'm always in constant buildup and, you know, kind of formation. But you have to have that faith, that unwavering-ish. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you can't see. Because in the unknown, that there's a lot of blinders. But you're going to get a lot of knowledge and information that's going to like take you where you need to go in your next steps. So I want you to keep that in mind for those of us that pick card three. What else is coming out for those of us that pick card three? Oh God, the moon. Okay. Some of us... <clears throat> I feel like we don't trust our intuition enough. You know what I'm saying? And because of that, it brings a lot of instability and a lot of insecurity within us. You know, but you have to trust yourself. Many of us, those that pick car three, you could have been spiritual and having downloads and your soul been talking to you and your ancestors and your guides and your guardians and all these things, right? Your whole life, but you probably been running from that shit. And I feel like that's another reason why, too, you know, you you know, uh, big messages here I'm channeling is like, stop running from who you are. Because, like, this is your calling. What's this at the bottom of the deck? Two of fucking swords. Your inability to choose how to make decisions. You have to trust your motherfucking instincts. You have to trust that you are balanced. I know sometimes you probably made bad, poor financial decisions, or you might have made like poor decisions, just period, in the earthly realm. But you got to understand that nobody is a situation that happened or a circumstance that happened. We are not just our experiences, we're more than that. With a whole life in the entirety, you know what I'm saying? And then the, in the full package. So many times we put our lives out there in the public or wherever, and the person will see a part of that and they think they know you, you know? So you have to understand that people don't know you, you know, you're a full package, you know? But don't walk around here feeling like you can't trust yourself and your own intuition. Trust that. Trust your own intuition. Finances is going to be looking up for those of us that pick card three as well. Clarifying the page of wands in reverse. Clarifying the page of wands in reverse with the page of cups, okay? Some of us is like, get used to like expecting new and beautiful opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes because I feel like in the past you got so used to only expecting certain things. But I feel like going more into trusting your insight and stuff like that, you know, um, maybe like you got a passion for learning about like you know, you just know emotions, you know, you don't have to necessarily be a water sign, but like maybe you just know emotions and stuff like that and triggers and stuff. And that could be like your field, your, your, your specialty, your knack, you know, so consider that for those of us, they pick our three, two, you know, as a life purpose, you know, thing when it, when I see this page of cups, because it's like, Sometimes you're in the wrong profession. Sometimes you'll be doing something just to get make money to pay bills. And you should also have this other thing because you're very good at it, you know? And and you, those of you who pick card three, you're very intuitive and you got like psychic powers and intuitive things about you. That's just natural. It's purely organic. It's purely organic. And I don't think you nurture it enough, these gifts. Can I be honest with you? Clarifying the four wands. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Some of us, we had to learn these lessons so that we could have a new beginning. Some of us, this new beginning, you are moving. Some of you guys are moving at pick card three, two. You'll be moving into new homes, new spaces, things of that nature. So get ready for that. Those of us who pick card three. Clarifying the will of fortune with the page of swords okay um i feel like somebody could be projecting or something like that i don't know why but or just has some sort of um problem like sometimes those of us who pick card three Either this is your energy or like the people around you sometimes like they just like unconcerned about other people's feelings. And I feel like we'll be definitely getting into that energy of like being more um, not just only caring about ourselves, but the true, um, the whole, the whole collective, you know, and how important that is, you know, kind of collect connecting to the collective as a whole instead of seeing ourselves only as the individual right um because i feel like that's where you know we as as a whole people as a collective are going into you know that sort of space automatically but this is really different for those of us who pick card three because it's like it's a personal thing right now that you're discovering you know um how to not be that person because I don't think that you like that about yourself, you know. And I feel like part of discovering the unknown was in discovering that part about you because maybe you didn't see that part. And maybe now you can see that and you're like, damn, I don't like that. Maybe I want to change that, right? Um, yeah. Clarifying the six of it. Wow. Some of us some of us are blocking our wish fulfillment, our true happiness, not realizing on some real shit that you don't let a lot of burdens down. You don't release a lot of burdens with this seven. Listen, the seven of swords is telling you that you're consciously, you know, walking away from your problems and the bullshit into victory right and then you're getting exactly what you want with the nine of cups and then some of us with the six of cups you know it's like a stubborn energy so just be mindful of what is it that it, that inner child was trying to you know tell us and stuff because some of us i'll be feeling like so those of us who pick card three maybe your spirit self or your inner child like wants to have like a chop it up a powwow like a moment with you to just speak with you freely and just express how they've been feeling and how you haven't been giving them any type of attention and any type of rapport, you know, building any relationship. And maybe that's where the buildup is from, you know, the residue, I feel like, because it's like a residue from like an internal residue or something like that. You know, I can't describe it other than that and how what I'm getting with the six of cups in reverse. <clears throat> Maybe you just don't see like, I don't know. It's just a lot of doubt and fear I see um, for the most part, I'm feeling. And um, I feel like going into the unknown is like the best place for you because you can't evolve where you've been at, you know. There's nowhere else really for you to go. Sometimes in life you'll realize that, you know, you're just standing still. And it's time to make transformations. And sometimes they'll be back to back. Sometimes it'll be like overwhelming. So it's like, damn, am I ever going to, you know, like what the fuck? Like, right. But, you know, it must be for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And it must be building us up, right? It all is for our greater good, you know, just period. Clarifying the that the transformation. How we hear the card three with the <laughs> strength card okay just be strong just be strong i know this shit is fucking different those are the ones who pick card three okay 
Okay? Just be strong, all right? Bottom of the fucking deck. All right? In the start, trust yourself. You have to trust yourself. You're a very divine, intuitive person. And let me tell you something. Our spiritual beings, we go through the most, the most intense spiritual paths and things that lead to our awakening and our ascension and our evolution. And it's a beautiful thing. Not every moment, but sometimes when you're in it, you might can't see the beauty, but it's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Because again, like I was saying earlier, a lot of people, they just spend their life being lost. And maybe that's just what their mission. But your mission is quite different. It's like, look, you you are a divine intuitive being and your purpose was just to share that with the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, those of y'all that pick card three. And I feel like you, you've you come to like a, a great place of discovery about things about yourself that it's not that you really want to change it, but at least just be able to acknowledge it for the true, you know what I'm saying? For in, in a true eye, you know, in true awareness of who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like be real with yourself type shit. And, and it's, it's beautiful. I feel like um, you're building something that's, you're building on a strong foundation with that, you know, the Queen of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is a really strong foundation. With the Seven of Wands. Oh, wow, two sevens. <laughs> and the Chariot. Yeah, just let spirit, like, help you with this journey. You know, this is a spiritual awakening for us, that pick card three. Okay, with the Chariot. And then the seven of wands is just reminding you to stay protected, you know, um, and you have protection. Also, to stand your ground, seven of wands, you know what it is that you, you believe in and, and you have to trust that shit and you have to stand your fucking ground. There's going to be a lot of people that might wish to push you off of your divine inner sense of knowing because you just have insight too a lot of times that people just don't they don't like that shit that you just have that divine inner sense of knowing and because they're not tapping into that shit that was within them you know that same energy within themselves you know they project they will project you know and i feel like you have um, protection from this energy, you know, you just have to trust the process. You ha absolutely have to, you know, um, seven, seven, that's divine, you know, protection, help, assistance, all that good stuff. So those of us that pick card three, just so y'all know, all right, y'all let me know how y'all like these messages. All right. I'm gonna get out of here. Love you guys. Peace.